fundamental to everything about us that is human is the need to be heard and to be able to be accepted. Give your children the gift of process. Give them the gift of knowing that all feelings are okay. Now, of course, what we do with feelings may have to be monitored. So if you're angry, you can't hurt me. If you're sad, you can't hurt yourself. But what can you do if you're sad? What can you do if you're angry? Your feelings are okay with me, but let's find out what to do with them. It's easy to think, I love you now, you're safe now, let that go. But we know from research, and we know from scripture, that children only let go what they truly have an opportunity to process. I love the example of Jesus as he stands by the grave of Lazarus. Now he's waited three days to come to the grave so that the body would be decayed because he knew he was going to raise him from the dead. He has come and Lazarus' sisters are saying, Lord, if you had been here, he wouldn't have died. And they're weeping. And Jesus stands by the grave, by these weeping sisters, knowing full well he's only there to call this man forth from the grave. And yet he weeps with these women. He embraced their sorrow. He embraced their sadness. Our children come to us with hard places and they've wrapped themselves up. They might wrap themselves up in sadness. They might wrap themselves up in depression. They may wrap themselves up in their feelings. And if I strip that child, I take away their coat in winter. I put vinegar on soda. I take the life out of it. It is as I embrace their journey, Honey, I know you must feel sad. I, I can't imagine what you've lost. If that child says to you, I hate you, I want to go back to my country, to say to them, I know how you must feel. I, I can't even imagine what it must be like to give up what you've given up. Hold them, let them weep in your arms. Don't fight them. Don't tell them that you're the mother who won't abandon them, that you're not the mother who abused them. Don't mourn over that woman that did that to you. Don't mourn over that country that couldn't feed you. Rather embrace. Love them as they are. Love them where they are and let them know all of their feelings are okay. We know from developmental research with children that children that don't process their feelings, that don't process their history, have high rates of mental illness later in life. Give your child permission. Be the safe person they can process with. Embrace and celebrate the full range of their needs, their feelings, and their emotions.